See, them people, they know I'm about to blow every time they come up here, they say, where is Ricardo? Yeah. They trying to get me for anything. You but, just got out not that long ago. Yeah, and I ain't been in nothing. I bet you're fast as shit, too. I, can't this shit. I got never been caught on feet. Yeah. Never been caught on feet. It's little 36 Rolly, that shit ain't nothing. Nigga need to find a saint on rush out, nigga. Eat Chris Tuck. Best stay on Twitter, I'm gonna keep drinking down. Hey, you can bring that cover in when you fill it up. Dumbass. Uh, yeah, you mad kids. Stupid ass. Now, today, we're gonna be talking about Baby Jamo and how just weeks after dragging on KP. Some would say the biggest rapper in the DMV would crash out. Now to fully understand, we had to do a little homework on J-Mo. J-Mo is one of the few rappers who used to play ball. Actually, play ball is a little bit of an understatement. I don't think y'all know how good J-Mo really was. In eighth grade, he had an offer from Howard University. Now I'm not gonna say he could have went to the NBA or played pro, but he could have easily played D1 or college ball. I mean, in eighth grade, he was at camps with multiple five stars and future NBA players. With there being so much crime in the city, many athletes have to choose between the streets and their sport. And after doing some homework, I found a trainer in DC who specializes with some of these athletes. He's a trainer who dealt with some of the biggest high school stars in DC. He even worked with Keon Boyd, who was a nationally ranked basketball player who led H.D. Woodson to an undefeated state title in a national ranking. Now, unfortunately, the street life would catch up to him, being arrested for robbery at the height of his career. He would soon be released, but yet again arrested in 2023. This seems to be the exact thing that Mo Skills is trying to prevent. He could be seen as a positive role model, encouraging youth to pick the right path. In his comments, he spoke about how he encouraged Jamo to keep working hard and his trophies meant nothing. Unfortunately, Jamo wouldn't continue with his basketball career, but you can see some of these lessons being applied in his rap life. His hard work and constantly producing different music videos is only a testament to his grind. Now, Jamo wasn't the only one to turn away from the court as popular member Mook from the Z used to train with Mo Skills as well. In comments of his training clips, you can see just how much of an advocate for the right path Mo Skills truly was. In his comments, you can see him begging for onlookers to pray for Lil Mook as he feared he was going through the path that so many inner city African males have gone through. I'm gonna be outside. JMO first hopped on the scene in 2020, where he dropped his song Pop Out, showing that he was locked in with the yo. We got them tricks like we chasing the run. Five, five, six is again, my cut. Yeah, I be working, I'm doing construct. Ain't had shit, bitch, I come from the gutter. Young ain't no shit, I gave me shots. Catch me out, but you know I'm a plucker. You fuck with the ops and you know that. Over the years, the beef with rival neighborhoods would increase more and more. And eventually, a song he dropped in with Millie named Flushem would be remixed and start a war. Now J-Mo will respond to his cousin Bala by dropping his own disc with Northeast rapper Rocky. 
named Warning. Talking, they know they gon' get it. You need to go slide, cause Bray is messy. Rap ass niggas be speaking of fictions. Uh, you say you my cousin, I burn your ass up. And I gotta run down some strange stuff. You ask about toss when I grew up rough. You can run it to me and track on my bluff. And I got the ball in the end zone. And I'm making flips and the hits off the flip phone. I'm going down the seat. Nah, I ain't that grown. And yeah, I'm trying to spank you, and better I come on. Nah, I ain't worried about it. Now later that year, JMO would be arrested on some gun charges and held in DC feds. But everyone knew it was only a matter of time before he was out making noise. Shit on the new one thing about them young is they try and go through. In the time the keys, this ain't nothing new. I can switch on my block, I can switch on my boots. I fuck up a street boy, I fuck up a boot. Tell a free ass D, all he know is go through. Just make him a pressure, this ain't nothing new. I'm a nigga that's keeping my dog. Fresh off release and a blown up song. You would think everything would be going right, but there was just one thing holding J-Mo back. Off probation, he couldn't dive into no hardcore drugs, so this would lead to the start of Alcohol Wall. Take a shot, see a shot, get a shot on oh, Roach. You know where I am. Take a shot, see a shot. Hold is gone. Roach, I need one of y'all bottles. This was also the start where somehow he'd start beefing with KP. Want me steps and even put it on me? Put with that, that big old buff. Want me stop having them bitches girl. put it on me? That he saying that song? Oh, Want me yeah. stamp? Oh, yeah. Come and put it on me with that big old buff. She ain't hey, 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 buddy, hey, buddy, hey, buddy, hey, buddy, hey, buddy. Oh, we ain't doing that. Roach, oh, you ain't doing that. Yeah, I'm not doing that, that on my channel. Get on your live. Go, in that, go over there on Roach Red. Keep lying, boy. Smoke cigarettes, boy. Fuck. 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 Exactly, you keep saying that like them. Nah, I ain't even gonna say that they not even dirty, but them got no females. Like you keep trying to brag on oh, that just the song, yo, dirty ass. Now this will start beef between KP and all JMO's friends. Eventually, this will lead to JMO dropping a diss in KP's MLK neighborhood. My aliens gotta be A. Hey, tall wall. I can't believe this shit. Hey, th but that wasn't all, because when JMO announced he'd release his new mixtape during the Halloween weekend, KP responded by announcing his new EP. Now, JMO had been one of the few rappers to sign to a label. And with the new song going up, it would seem like JMO would focus more on his career. But sadly, his drinking habits would be his downfall. On a Sunday night, a DC patrol officer was surveying the streets when he'd come upon a vehicle stopped at a green light. Before the officer could even do anything, the vehicle would speed off, crashing into a nearby barricade. It is then a drunken JMO would rush out the vehicle and try to run away from the officer on feet. Eventually he'd stumble and fall on his face. It's a sad thing seeing a rapper with such a promising career getting it all taken away. Sadly, a locked up JMO is now facing numerous federal charges after being caught with an unidentified vehicle and a loaded handgun. KP and his new crew, a little dude in the Skino, would use this chance to drag on J Mo, flexing online and dropping their disses. Now we all know KP couldn't wait to drag, but nobody would have expected he would have taken it this far. He won't stop dragging on all of his eyes. KP can finally be the new face of the DMV rap scene, but is he starting something? 
that he can't finish. Boom. Hey, free all the men, free all the men, free the men. You don't tip. Tomorrow don't be tipping. Hey, you hear me? Don't be tipping tomorrow. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs>